Hello. Oh, hi, Timmy. Hi. So, what? I uh, called information and asked for Howard Roach. So what did you want, though? Oh, because they, they just sent me this package uh, oh, about 100 pages long, full of questions. Some of them are valid. Some of them, to me, are like, I'm wondering what the hell they're asking me this shit for when I have nothing to gain from this lawsuit. Well, neither do I. Howard told me that if this lawsuit wasn't going on, that he would put money away for the kids. With this lawsuit, though, the, I mean, the attorneys are the ones who are going to get rich, you know. I mean, they're, uh, they're going to battle it out, and then whatever's left over will go to the kids. But Howard's more than willing to let that happen and just pay, you know. Well, he didn't exactly make any offers. He just kept saying to drop the lawsuit. I mean, he didn't, he didn't, I didn't hear any financial amount or anything. He just kept saying, if you drop the lawsuit, if you drop the lawsuit. Well, that's just because it's, it's going to ruin his insurance, but, you know. Why well, did? I've known him for a long time, I didn't know how you guys would handle it if I told you. And he owns apartments in town here, and he put me up in one. He said that he'd been giving you cash for the last... Do you really think that he's con going to continue to support you after this lawsuit's over? He's not supporting me, Donna. Well, you might not think so, but I'm sure that he's doing this counting on you. I mean, if he's he's basically giving you an apartment, he's got his wife to get you a job. and he did, His wife didn't get me a job. I got the job on my own. It just happens to be the same company that she works for. Linda had nothing to do with me being hired. He said that she did. He said that he said that he he said I had my ex-wife give her a job, but she'll probably fuck that up too. That's what he said. Oh, he thinks he got it for you, and I'm you know. It, and so you're living out his apartment. So th is this where? His apartment. He's got four of them around town in a house here, and I manage all of them. They've each got managers in them, but I collect all the rent. All the money comes to me, and then I give it to Howard. He's, he's 52 years old, and, and from what I know of him, I mean, we've been, I've told him, he has told me things about his life, and I've told him things about mine, I mean, really personal stuff, that's how he knew about David and I being together. You know, I told him everything, Donna. The, the Dawson and me, when these guys forwarded it to me, but to me, it's like, I'm reading it going, even David read it and said, what, to me, it's um, to say this shit or what? No, Donna, all I did was they came here and I answered their questions. Is this where Roach was living when um, he called me? Mm -hmm. No, he wasn't living here then. He, well, he was in the process of moving back out to the where? city. Most of the, most of the things that he owns, Donna, are, he's in partnership with a man out of Seattle. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, if anything happened, I think that he'd probably just sign it all over to his friends. Well, he'd still be held liable for whatever the property value at the time we filed the suit. Well, I don't know. I just figure the insurance companies are probably going to battle it out, and whatever he's made to pay, his insurance company will pay. Partner. Well, do you know the guy's name from Seattle? No, uh-uh. Two other apartments. Well, he owns land in Spokane, too, because I got his tax assessment. And he also owns um, a warehouse. He owns land with a warehouse and a heater duct company on it. And he owns something else, too. I've got a, a printout of everything he owns in Spokane. I don't know, but um, I would really... I told, I told him that uh, if his attorneys want anything more from me, that they're not going to get it because I am, like, now deep out of it. I don't want to deal with it anymore. I have to get on with my life. Yeah, I actually feel that way too. But see, has he said any specific amount to you, or does he just? He said that um, Dawson was asking for eighty-five thousand dollars, and he said that if that, if eighty-five thousand dollars is what they're asking for, and that's what his insurance company pays, then so be it. That's not what they're asking for, though. What are they asking for then? Half a million. They're asking for everything he owns. He's, you know, you should be a little careful about just trusting him. I'll tell you that right now. He's just got you in the position where he wants you, where he can use you as he wants you. I mean, you don't realize that, but that's what's going on here. I filed this lawsuit four months ago, five months ago, and just exactly, it's all falling into place now, right? Your apartment, your job, all this shit. 
when you said that um, I'd probably be sucking him too, I mean, that's like outrageous because that's not going to happen. But uh, my dad has never met him, doesn't even know, doesn't know anything about him except for that he's the one who shot Steve. In my mind, I don't believe Howard to be a murderer, no. Well, he is. Well, I mean, shit happens, things do happen. Okay. Oh, well, this is what I think too. This is what I wonder. If someone I knew got murdered, I would be afraid to go over to their house afterwards and break in if I didn't know the murderer, if I didn't know what had happened. Because another... I've been in that house before with Steve. Oh, you told me you'd never been there before. I've been there with Steve. I don't think, I don't know, I never went in the house though. I was outside. <laughs> Plus, you never, you never, you didn't know who murdered him at that time, did you? So what? I mean, as soon as that cop told me that he was dead, I grabbed a bottle of vodka off my refrigerator and down about half of it, you know? I was really fucked up when I went over there. I broke the window. I screamed there was some um, Doberman pincher in the door barking at me when I broke, when I opened the door. And I just screamed at it to get the fuck out of my way, and it ran somewhere and hid, and I proceeded to go into his room. Explain why you got in a fight with some girl in a bar and then called the police and said Steve did it. Because, um, because Steve was fighting me for my kids, and I thought maybe if I could get his ass in trouble, that, um, that, you know, I mean, what he was doing to me, he was trying to take my kids from me. Well, to me, you were going out doing cocaine all the time. No, it wasn't all the time. It was sometimes, and I admit it. We've, we've got a whole file of people that you asked to babysit and abandoned the kids with. Donna. Not that it, ma not that it I even. Babysitters, so I can go out sometimes. Yeah. I mean, not, not that it matters. It's totally irrelevant. But I mean, if Howard thinks that he's going to have you go into court saying a bunch of shit about Steve, you'll get thrown off the stand before you even get in there. Doing coke and stuff like that. I told Howard all about that. So it's not something that you know he doesn't know about. Or from your friend Jody, who I've also talked to before. She talked to me for um, 45 minutes. She didn't tell me anything bad. Oh, okay. She told me she kicked you out of her, your ha her house. She told me that all you did was get totally smashed every single night and that she didn't think you wanted your kids back at all anyway. She knows that I'm afraid. I'm afraid to be a mother again because I don't know how well I'm going to handle it. It's going to take a long time. It's going to take a lot of work. Uh, it's going to take even more. Okay, it's also going to take more than you even think because my goal is I remember you telling me you did cocaine and, and whether I don't, you know, I don't even care. It doesn't even fucking matter to me. I, I don't even really care anymore. It's like, I just don't fucking care, and I really don't even fucking want to deal with this lawsuit, and I would really like to put it behind me, too. That's the way I feel. But I feel like I have a responsibility here. But um, uh, Michael has problems that are far beyond behavioral problems.